Alright y'all, we're going to uh, Zeko. So today we're going to be talking about Resident Evil Village. Frank here. We're going to be talking about what Resident Evil games are better than this shit, worse than this shit. Alright, we're going to get straight into the shit right now. So, <clears throat> damn, I gotta clear my throat, my fault. I apologize. So, Resident Evil Villain. Hmm. It's definitely better, uh, it's definitely better, I can't speak, for fuck's sake. It is definitely better than Resident Evil 5. It's definitely better than 6, 7. I would say it's better than the remake of 3. That's pretty much it. Like, if we're talking about just the first 8 games, I think that's where it stands for me. Because Village, I like Village. I think it's S tier. I think the original Resident Evil 1 and the remake, which is the same game, but which is pretty much more to it. I think that's better than uh, Village. In my opinion, I think the original Resident, uh, Resident Evil 2 and the remake is better than uh, Village. Shall I, I give you the tour? The original 4 and remake of 4. <laughs> but <clears throat> Village is in a very good spot, in my opinion. Because it reminds me of Resident Evil 1. It reminds me of Resident Evil 4. You know, like Village, they both, Resident Evil 4 and Village, they both have a bow, they both have a merchant. You know, the Duke knows the merchant from Resident Evil 4. Like, you get Resident Evil 4 references, Resident Evil 1 references. Um, so, like, there's a lot of things about uh, Resident Evil Village that just reminds me of other Resident Evil games. Like, it's like, I want to say nostalgia, but it's like, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but like, so, what I like about this game. I like the story, I like the atmosphere, I like the location, I like the not exactly open world feel uh, feeling, but it's similar to 4 where you can move around, go to different locations, that's like village feels a lot like 4, like I'm, I don't know how else to explain it other than like that's what makes this game so fun for me, like you're not trapped in like similar environments like biohazard bro, you're basically like what in a house and then if you're outside and you're in like mines and the ship and everything like that up here it's like many locations and shit so it's like i fuck with that it's like solid in that aspect um the story i like the story the stakes in this game i feel like is higher than uh than it was in biohazard and this game in the very first scene, it appears that your wife is being shot and killed. Your baby is like abducted. Blah blah blah. That's how it goes, and that's what the story goes off of. Like this whole time, you don't get those that you don't even know if he is alive until later on, or if Chris like that wasn't me, and so on and so forth. The story is good. Now let's talk about um. Let's talk about the characters in there. Now, this is where it gets tricky for me. Miranda was underwhelming. Matter of fact, I don't really care for it at all. Same thing with uh, the doll maker, Benedito, or her, it, whatever the motherfucker's name was. I didn't care for that motherfucker. And the other motherfucker, Moru, the sluggish motherfucker with the shit on his back in terms of that little monster shit, him. He was underwhelming. I didn't give a fuck about him either. Um, now I will say this: uh, Ben and Vito, the doll maker, his whole introduction area shit, where it's his house. You gotta solve these puzzles to get the key to find him and all that shit. All of that was cool. The hide and seek. Emily wants to play wanna be boss battle shit. I didn't fuck with that. At least it would have been fine if it was another boss battle where you actually shoot and all the other shit with that motherfucker. But that shit alone is just underwhelming. Like that was cool because it was unique, but by itself, I needed no. That battle, that that fight was too short. That was underwhelming. That felt like another thirty second battle. What have you done to so my daughter? Felt too easy or too simple. It was just very simplistic. Same thing with the, uh, Miranda. Like, Miranda. I feel like we should have fought Miranda two more times or even three more times before when we fought her at the end. Like, when you fight Miranda, dude, it's like, damn, dude, that's it? Like, you just, it just feels like this game needs more to it. 
like you're missing certain elements well not elements but you're missing like certain actions to me like certain enemies we could add more boss battles make the boss battles longer like that's three characters right there that are oh shit that's sorry going off in the background i apologize but these three like these three are like the three main villains of the game and miranda's like the main villain and it's like she sucks she's not interested like none of that shit lady Demetrius. you know what's so crazy about uh, oh shit i can't believe i got i came up with this you know what lady Demetrius remind me of traeger from out Love. like bro she should have been in the game longer when she dies, bro, the game gets kind of it gets kind of mid, bro. I'm just gonna keep it 100, bro. Lady Demetrius, her boss fight was like so cool, bro. But like once you when she's dead and you're out that castle, it's like, bro, you're stuck with what I said. You got the doll motherfucker. The blood makes fuck in my opinion. You just play hide and seek after you saw the puzzle shit and find him. You play hide and seek, stab him like three or four times, boom. That's, what the hell? That's his death. Moru, bro, you basically fucking. Um, I think after he changed into that big form shit, you gotta run around his area with the windmill shit, get the crank and all that other shit. When you actually fight him, it's easy as shit. But I wish it was like more to it. I wish there was like. Like, I don't know, man. Throw some enemies at it when I'm fighting them or something, dude. But that shit was just too easy. Oh, man. Like, Heisenberg. Heisenberg. See, Heisenberg and Lady Demetrius, they carried the game, bro. Like, his whole area was dope as fuck. You got the propeller enemy. You got the Terminator fuck. You got the... All these, like, Panzers. I think that's actually what they're called, Panzers. And that shit, like, that shit is cool as fuck. Like, dude, Lady Demetrius reminds me of fucking Traeger. Like, if she would have stayed in the game longer, bro, it would have been dope. It better. Like, Traeger should have been in this game a lot better. But Traeger was the dude. Like, Traeger just was only in there like 10, 20 minutes, if that. Demetrius don't even feel like she's in the game that long, bro, to be honest with you. I think if you really speedrun her part, bro, I think you can probably kill her within at least an hour. Maybe 30 minutes. Maybe 30 minutes, bro. Like, bro, if you're not looking for shit, uh, bro, she, she, she's not in the game that long. It don't take long to kill her three daughters. It don't take long to get to that boss bottle. It really don't. So, like, that's it pretty much, bro. Like, I would say this game is an S ranking. Um. Even though three main villains are mid to me, I still find it solid. But that's why it's in the placement that it's in as well. Because I'm going to break it down to y'all. Resident Evil 1 has. Even though Resident Evil 1 boss battles weren't the best, it was it was more than what we got in Village. At least it felt like it. And it was the first entry into the series. So Resident Evil 2, bro, like... You had Mr. X, you had all these other uh, boss battles. Um, you had that well, I forgot what that I forgot what the uh, creatures were called and was even too but like you had that mutated dude where you had to shoot the orange eyes and shit. That was a cool boss battle. I think you fight him multiple times, like Mr. X is cool. Like Resident Evil 3 you get Nemesis, but like Alright, I'm back. Uh, um, my headphones ended up dying, so I have no idea what I was talking about before. It's like a two hour gap between when I was talking at first and when I'm talking now. So, I have no idea what I was talking about. I didn't go back and read. I didn't do none of that shit. So, we're going off the dump. Um, but anyway, bro, I think the next time y'all see me playing this, it'll be like three comments and normally. Like when I'm playing this shit. I just wanted to try this for the last two videos, I should do something different. Um, I'm still running around in circle, trying to find these items real quick. And then do. So, ah, that pistol. Ah. Takes too many shots to kill one dude. Look at this, look, one. 
kolam ini harus kita coba iya, cuma That pistol has to be weak. It can't be just me, man. I think that's it. You see it? But um, man, I forgot to talk about now, man. I was not expecting my headphones to just die on me, bro. I don't know what the hell that was about. But um, Backtracking in this game. That's not as bad as previous uh, Resident Evil's in my opinion. Sometimes you do have to backtrack. I mean, I understand that in these games. I mean, hell, Resident Evil 1 backtracking is the most insane if I can remember. I don't know, the backtracking in that game was like madness. <coughs> Look at this shit. It's cool how you can play this game in third person like the, um, the original. Like, that's tight. Well, the original 4. Oh, even 5 or 6 third person, so... Yeah, it's like... Like how the basic Resident Evil formula works. Except for the cutscenes, though all the cutscenes are still on first person. Which is fine. But um, I think what I was trying to say earlier is once you leave the castle, the game becomes underwhelming for a little bit. I'm going to be honest though, I'm going to take it even further than that. The whole vibe of the game completely changes once you leave the castle in my opinion. I'm not saying the change, the tone changes, but like, I don't know bro. Like, in this, in the castle bro, you have Lady Demetrius with the stalk enemy. She's gonna keep fucking with you until you do what you have to do for a cutscene and then so on and so forth, bro. But, like, she's the only one in the game that, like, constantly follows you and you can't kill her at that moment. So it's like, it adds, like, an element. But then when you kill her and leave the castle, it's like that element is gone. That suspense, that stalker enemy vibe is just gone. So it's like, oh. Then they start introducing all these other types of enemies later on. But, like, they're not really threatening, if you know what I'm trying to say. Like, a stalker enemy is. I don't know, man. I'm half and half with the stalker enemies. Like, they're annoying, but sometimes, like, if they're done right, they'll work. Like, Mr. Baker from um, Biohazard, like, that was a cool stalker enemy. Um, Lady Demetrius is cool, it's just she don't stalk you for that long. In fact, it don't even feel like you're in this castle for that long. It really don't. Like, that's crazy. Like, all in all, bro, this game just feels very short. Like, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm looking for stuff and all that stuff, I could probably speed run this game and, like, maybe... Maybe three and a half hours to four. I don't know. It's, it's possible, I think, though. I don't even know how long it took me to beat this game during this game uh, playthrough. But, like... Um... I don't know. I just... So... Pros and cons. I'm gonna break it down again. I'm gonna bring it home here. Pro, which is a good thing, obviously. So, atmosphere. The game sounds, looks, feels great. It's immersive. The graphics. The graphics are amazing, in my opinion. I don't care what nobody say. But uh, the graphics are great. I regret the gameplay is great, the Ethan combat's Winters great, the scavenging is great, the horror um, fundamentals is here. Because he is in my castle, jump and scare. it's already proven too much for my daughters to handle. I did get jump scared a few times, so... No, Mother um, Miranda. The upgrade. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. See, my thing with this game is just, I just won't like, I'm gonna down. go to the cons now. The cons now, to me, it just feels like there's not no. enough enemies. There's not enough water. 
That and then the man game just kind of feels short. For what he's done. It doesn't have the same problems in my opinion that Biohazard has. The third act isn't 100% annoying or weak. Like how I felt on Biohazard. Like that ship shit was annoying and weak in my opinion. But I don't feel that way on this game's third act. I feel like this game just devoids attention the moment you leave that castle. It just feels like nothing really is threatening. Rose. For a while. Where are you? Until you get to Heisenberg. Like, <clears throat> I don't know. If I were to remake this game in like 10 to 20 years from now, I would add more enemies, make the game a little bit longer, put um, more boss battles in, and that's pretty much it. Man, if I were to remake it, I would actually add another gun too, or, or, or something. Other than that, man, uh, I would probably even create new characters too. Well, fuck it, I would um make it so where you interact with Chris a little bit more. But yeah, um, it's almost. I, in my opinion, bro. Oh, shit. There you let's see. All this. Resident Evil Four is the best. Resident Evil 4 Remake you? is probably the best you Ungrateful, selfish wretch um, Out of the ones we got recently Out of the remake, out of the first one So, I'm gonna say on my daughters. And now you Village, you know. to steal Village is top tier property. Same thing with Biohazard Damn. Like Biohazard is a, It's worse than this game for me Rest Simply for the fact is Because I will hunt you I, in my opinion, Village consistently stays a great game. Well, Biohazard Go ahead, do your worst. is 67 to 70 percent a great game. Like, I don't know, the third act just kills it for me. It doesn't kill the whole game. That's why I said 70 percent of it is a great game. It's just that last act. Like, it's just I just didn't like it. <clears throat> like I just, it was just pointless to me going back in time and. You, you have no weapon, then you gotta look for parts, then you gotta go up and down a shaft, like, no, nah, I'm cool, bro, I'm cool. Like, this right here, I'm glad this game don't have nothing like that. Um, you go through a lot in this game, too. Like, you go through... Like, your body goes through a lot in this game. Like, Leon ain't never had his hand cut off, but I remember him being stabbed. None of that shit, so I don't know what the fuck. Like, this game right here, bro, you eat and you go through some shit, my god. This even sucks how they killed you off. Like, that's that fucked up shit. I wish they would've gave us another game out of you, bro. But I get that they, they had to finish the storyline, so... Yep. My expectations for Resident Evil 9, though, I don't know. What I want for Resident Evil 9, I want a solid, long game with horror fundamentals and elements. That's what I want. I want to get back to the root. Oh, shit! Like I'd you like you get away. Hell out of You'll be sliced to ribbons. Before you ever oh. see did she lift? Wait, hold on. Does she lift you up? How do you see eye to eye to her for that second? She's way taller than you, by the way. You will learn what it means to insult house. I might have missed that. She had to lift you up. That's a tall bitch, bro. But anyway, y'all. I'm about to get up out of here. Um, hoping everybody enjoy their day. Today's a beautiful Sunday. Labor Day weekend and everything like that. I don't celebrate no holidays, so everything I just said concerning the holiday don't matter to me. I'm just standing in the to everybody else. But you know, push positivity, stay out the way. Keep doing your thing. Um, even if nobody believes in you, believe in yourself and just keep moving forward, bro. I'm let nobody stop you. Uh, yeah. Basically, it's the late course that we got here to You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But all jokes and bullshit. Besides, bro. Running will get you nowhere! 
Oh, it got me away from your bitch ass, but, but, anyway, I got a pirate nub on my arm, as you can see. I just wish motherfuckers would put that shit on like that shit. That's crazy, bro. I have a lot. <laughs> you don't see no shit like that. In the first four games. I know that. Thing, but... I don't know, it, that shit didn't bother me though. Man, screw it doesn't castle. make much sense to me, but it doesn't bother me. But there's so much out his hand was stitched up in the game prior, so it's like, it don't bother me, but... I don't know, it's just strange. But, yeah. God, I hate that pistol, dude. That pistol, dude. Look at this shit. Am I playing Call of Duty? How many bullets it take to kill a person in point blank? Like, oh. Yeah, bro, like... I know I'm still talking that shit, cause like... But damn, bro. That pistol is ass. But yeah. Alright, y'all, I'm out. Peace.